Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to do a review on the original Huda Rose Gold palette versus the remastered one. So I have both obviously. Um, let's start with packaging. First of all, I think the packaging on both is absolutely stunning. This one's backwards. Um, this is a beautiful rose gold and I love this one with her eyes. I think it's gorgeous. So both packaging for me is an A+. Plus. It's great. Then you open them up. And this slides out of that. It's a sleeve. And here you have the new one versus the original. Um, of course, this is much more eye-catching and stunning. It is kind of raised right here with the lettering. Um, right here you just have, you know, kind of a cheap plastic cover that's see-through and that sums up that packaging. But then when you open this one, you have a mirror, which is great, and an insert, which is stunning. I think she's absolutely beautiful and this alone is beautiful. Some of the eyeshadows are rubbing off on the back. Anyways, beautiful packaging. I love it. I, I think she really went all out. I think she listened to her consumers and really um, stepped up the packaging. Um, but packaging is not everything. It is what is inside the packaging. Although I do appreciate it when they put some effort. So you have the two. I'm going to put them up side by side. Or yeah, upside down, whatever. Um, this is the remastered and this is the original. They did change some of the shades. So in the first row we have Dubai, Fling, which is going to be right here. This is really hard to like. Okay, so you have Dubai and they're side by side, same row. Fling right here, which is still the same here. Then you have 24 karat here, and they changed that to the end right here. And then you have rose gold, and rose gold, and you have trust fund, and then trust funds here. Anyway, so basically the top row is the same, except for in the original they have angelic right here. And in the new one, they changed it and they have Pink Diamond, which looks pretty similar. The other one's a little bit darker. Then in the second row, let's Blessed is the same. Moondust is in here. Um, I don't see Bossy. Flamingo looks like Dollface. That's Dollface, and this is Flamingo. So it looks like they just changed the name. Maybe this one's a little bit darker. Shy, it looks like, is Demure. So here's Demure, and here's Shy. And they look the same. So it's like they just changed names. Bay, I don't see. Then you go to the bottom row, and in the bottom row you have Black Truffle, Suede, Coco and Man Eater, these are the same. Henna and Sandal. The, sandal. the whole bottom row is exactly the same. Alright, so when you get to the middle row, they change, I think, more of the names, but they look very similar, some of them. So, I don't think it's like a big, big difference in the um, names or in the shades. I'm going to swatch and there's a lot of shades in here. So we have, let me read, let me read the back on the new box. It says, what you thought was love was barely a crush. Introducing the rose gold palette remastered. 18 revamped eyeshadows, including 8 buttery mattes that blend seamlessly with your skin. 
eight melted matte eyeshadows with a blinging pure foil finish and easy application. One jet black wet and dry shadow for a dramatic cat liner or intense smoky eye. One pressed pearl shadow to highlight your look. Okay, so I have used it, but I haven't like... I don't think I've used it enough to like... Let me just say that the first time I used it, I, I can tell you how I felt. I'm going to tell you at the end of the video. Um, but in the original, it says textured eyeshadow palette, three ready to layer textures, deep matte, 3D metal pressed pearls, highly pigmented pressed pigments, no talc, stunning application. Um, for the maximum foiled textures, they, you get the maximum payoff using your fingers, um, which I, you can see I used, I, you know, I definitely got my fingers in there, I was using them. Um, so let me swatch, I'm going to do side by side, my whole arm is going to be, yeah. So I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to use the original palette. And then the left is going to use the new palette. So we're going to start with Dubai. Well, that won't work. Okay, I don't know what I'm thinking. We're going to just, this is the old, this is the new. Old, new. So the left is old, the right is new. Then we go into Fling, which is the same in both palettes. So we go old and new. I'm cleaning my fingers off as I go. Then we have 24 karat and they are in different areas but on the same row. This is the old, this is the new. Then we have rose gold, old, new. I'm saying it to myself so I remember. Old, new. I hope you can see these good. Then we have trust fund, old, new. So the old and the new. Old, new. So I'm trying to keep all the left is the old shades or original I don't, I don't know however you want to put it angelic is not in this one but I believe pink diamond took its place so we have angelic and pink diamond right there then we're going to move on to the second row the second row is the one they changed up the most so we have blessed they do have blessed in the new, so we have, I don't know where to go with this. <laughs> Let me clean up a little bit here. We're going to go straight underneath. So we have the old and we have the new. I don't know why, I am bruising so bad. You see the back of my arm? Oh, I, I keep finding bruises all over. I don't know. No, it's not my husband. I beat him. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love him. Okay, now we have Bossy, which sounds about right. And I think they replaced the name with um, Risqué. So this is Bossy in the original and Risqué in the new. Then Flamingo in the original. And Dollface in the new. So this is... Flamingo and Dollface. This is old and new. Then we have Shy in the original and Demure in the new. Here's Shy and Demure. I just think that they kind of like change formula, formula a little bit on these, but if you really look, they're like the same color. Now we have Bay in the original. This one I don't see anywhere. So I think they replaced it with Bubbly because that's in the second row. So we have Bay from the original 
and bubbly from the remastered. Then we have Moon Dust in the original and Moon Dust in the remastered. So the original and the remastered. I hope you can see these good. Okay, we're going to the third row, which is the same. I'm going to go up here. We have Black Truffle in the original, Black Truffle in the new. So Black Truffle, the original, Black Truffle in the new. I hope you guys can see these good. I'm sorry. I'm trying. We have Suede in the original and Suede in the new. So here's Suede. So this is my bone crack in the original. Suede in the new. Pretty much the same there. Then we're moving into Coco. So Coco in the original. Coco in the new. Then Man Eater. In the original. Man Eater in the new. So the bottom row is exactly the same. That's original. This is new. Henna, the original, and henna, the new. So here's henna original and henna new. Last but not least, we have sandalwood in the original and sandalwood in the new. Right here. So here's original and new. That one didn't really come off really good. A little bit more. I think it's the texture of my skin. So original and new. Okay, so now I did swatches. I want to go into a tutorial and use them so you can see the way they work. Then I'm going to give you my final thoughts and review on this palette. I think I uh, have gotten a feel for it. Good enough to do that. So I think what I'm going to do, and I've been debating on this, um, when I, the original, when I, the new. And that way you can see uh, the difference in the shades. Um, I will use shades that have a different name, but that I believe are the same shade. So let's get started. I'm going to go in with, let me see. I want to go in with, um, I guess, Demure, which would be Shy in the original. It's right here. Demure. It is like the lightest shade, so it has a different name. So I'm going to use the left side will be the new palette. This is kind of going to go all over, but not all the way to the brow bone. I will use the same brush. I will clean it and use the same brush. I am using my Wayne Gauze number 16. I'm going to get as much filming done this week as possible. And in the original palette, I want you to see it is called Shy, but it is the closest. And I think it was kind of just renamed and maybe amped up a little but you guys will see for yourself so I cleaned my brush and dipped it in too shy and I mean it looks pretty similar I'm I cannot say how happy I've been with the progress of the challenge. It's been great. Um, now I'm going to go in with, and you have until May 31st. Um, I will pick a winner on May 31st. Um, so a couple more days or another day, day and a half. Day and a half. Now we're going to go in with, hmm, I'm so undecided. Let's go in with sandalwood, which is the same in both palettes, but it's supposed to be remastered. So let's see. So remember, this eye is the new palette. It was going to go just in my crease, 
maybe up a little bit. There's, I mean, some kind of, oops, some kind of, there is a little bit of um, fallout, but I don't really mind as long as it works. This is the original palette. I absolutely love Huda's uh, eyeshadows. I'm not a fan of her lipsticks. Uh, I, I actually gave all of those away to my daughter and friends and family because I don't know, they feel dry and kind of tacky. I don't ever feel like it dries down on me, but that's just me. I know a lot of people love them. I love her glosses. I'm not really a gloss person, but hers are good. I'm going back in the original or the new palette. Duh, the new palette. Uh, I clean my brush. But uh, I do like her glosses. I have a whole bunch of them. But anyways, so and her highlighters are okay. I have a couple of her highlighter palettes. I am going to use one today because I figured we're going all Huda. I went back in and cleaned my brush and I'm, I'm still working the sandalwood in there. Okay, now I'm going to go in. That was a Carity E31 brush. I like have the same brushes I use every day even though I have a ton of brushes. This is a 282 a I Fluff, not A. It's just I Fluff. I don't know where I got it. Probably in like a... Uh, an old box charm or so. Um, anyways, let's go in with. I'm gonna go in with Risque because I want to. Uh, because I use hen and all that before. I'm gonna go up in the crease with this. I want to do a different eye look than I did the other day. And once we change this up a bit. So just in the crease. What do you guys think about doing a um, challenge with a modern renaissance? I know a couple of you have asked about that and I think it'd be great. I'm going to put a little bit actually on my lid. This is a really pretty color. Okay, and then in the original, I'm going to clean my brush. In the original, I believe they changed Risqué to Bossy. I mean, they change bossy to risque. My gosh, I'm going backwards. So this is the original palette. So in the crease. Who's excited for America's Got Talent tonight? Oh my gosh. I have missed and love that show. American Idol's over. Yay for the winner. Uh, her name, oh my gosh, how could I forget her name? She was so unique. Um, not Molly. Was it Molly? It might have been Molly. Oh my god, I'm going back in with sandalwood because I feel like I need to bring that up more. Kind of blend it. Um, she was really, really good. So I feel for Skay is definitely more deeper red. This is more burgundy. Um, but we're just going to keep going. Yes, we're going to see how this turns out. I could be like two-toned today. She was super unique and um, I'm very happy she won because all of them were good. They were all, let's just face it, they were all good. But anyways, it was just great finale and it was great seeing Carrie Underwood again. I'm going in my concealer. Um... This will definitely help the lid colors because let me just say from one with the Huda colors um, when you use her shimmer and her foil ones whew, they can get messy and they you want them to pop so even if you use your finger you get a lot of payoff but this will emphasize that payoff so This will emphasize any color payoff, basically. Yeah, definitely that color. Um, bossy and uh, Risqué were a little different. So I'm going to go in with um, Man Eater with my Wingauze. 
right here and this is the number 19 I'm gonna go in with Maneater and they both have it and this is a new palette I'm gonna go in just the corner and up here into the crease just the edge we're gonna get some foil colors on there okay now I'm cleaning my brush and I'm going the original which has man eater as well same place same row and I'm going to go into the foiled I'm going to be filming a tour of my room my beauty room I think I'm ready got my mirror hung up and I've got a lot switched over which go, it reminds me, I have my tool card out there and I have a lot of makeup in that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, man. Just when I thought I had everything kind of situated, you know? Gee whiz. Anyways, so I'm going to have to get to that hopefully this week. I got a lot. I got an appointment and stuff to do before my dad comes back on Sunday. Because I don't want him coming back and I'm like doing all this, so... I'm trying to pre-film and um, get things done. I gotta go grocery shopping. I'm gonna build up Man Eater a little bit in the new palette on this side. Ooh, I almost touched up my eye with that. Woohoo! Let's not do that. Now I just clean my brush now. This is the original, so the right is the original. You must remember that. Okay. All right, enough of that. I could like be here forever doing that. Now I want to go on the lid. Okay, here's where it gets tricky, tricky. So let me see what I'm gonna go in with. I'm gonna use my itty bitty um, Morphe M213. I love this brush. It's great for kind of packing on the lid, especially in small areas. And I want to try and use the um, a few of the new ones because, well, because we're trying it out, even though I've already used some. I definitely want to use Dubai. This color is absolutely stunning. So according to, now if you can see how the brush sinks and there's almost like a hole, a little bit, it just kind of sinks in there. According to Huda and the new palette, you're not supposed to have to use your fingers. So we're going to use the brush. And we're going to go right smack dab in the middle. So I might need to layer a little bit because I did go over the red here a little bit too far. This is a beautiful, like a moss green. It's so pretty and unique and it is in the original palette as well but in that one you're supposed to use your finger so I may try the brush if not I'll use my finger this is so beautiful so pretty I hope you guys all had a wonderful three-day weekend I keep thinking it is Monday so I'm going in the original palette now into Dubai. Um, let's just see how I can pack it on my lid with this tiny brush. It might work, it might not. Let's see how different of a formula it is. I had a decent weekend. My dad left Sunday. Um, and it was nice. He went to Santa Maria. He's got, you know, family up there too, so. I have to share him. I, I actually got to sleep in my bed. I've been sleeping on a futon. It was very comfortable. Very nice, even though I miss him, but it's a part of life and I have to get used to it. Wiping off the fallout. Okay, now I want to switch over 
I think that packed on pretty good both. So remember, this is the original palette, this is the remastered. Okay, a clean brush. We're going to go in with, um, I want it to be the same. I'm going to go in, okay, and here it is Pink Diamond. Okay. So this one goes here. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't think I use that color yet. I don't know. I've just, I've been playing with the palette here and there. I went a little too far over with that. I'm going to actually place that in the corner of my eye too because I really think it'll look good there. I'm going to have to go back in the green, but we'll go there in a minute. Let me do the other eye and I'm going to say angelic is going to have to be the color because they don't match. But we're going to find out how similar are they. So this one's definitely more um, darker tone, deeper, a little bit of a deeper tone. Um, this is more pinky and light, and this is more yellowish and deep tone. I'm going back in the new palette just to get more payoff here. Okay, now I'm going to touch up the green a little bit on both, so let's go into the new palette first. And uh, touch up the green. I'm going to bring some red over because I brought the green over too far on that one. I'm going into the original and I'm not using my finger. I'm using the same brush that I clean. Okay. Enough of that. Enough is enough. So let's go in with a clean brush into the Red Man Eater. This is the new palette. And I feel like I kind of really went over that with that green. So I am so excited. On the 31st, Spectrum's releasing their Aerial. I'm going to the Man Eater on this side. Um, brush set. I've been waiting for that. I've been really good. The only thing that I have ordered literally seriously has been on my Sephora gift card um, this whole week so I've been doing really good waiting for that now I'm going to blend I cleaned this brush that I'm waiting for and what do you guys think about the Manny MUA one I'm just blending here the palette coming out for him the right side of that palette looks like box of crayons to me and then the left is all neutral but I do like Manny I like his channel and I'm kind of like support your fellow youtuber and I bet the eyeshadows are going to be good I just have a feeling I just I don't know I have his makeup geek eyeshadow palette and it was pretty good so uh, I don't know if you guys want to see that let me know I haven't even used it much forever now I want to go in with the brow bone color Let's use Blessed. Well, now let's go with Moon Dust. Moon Dust is in both of them, so Moon Dust right here in the new one. Um, yeah, so I'm super, super excited. We're going in the brow bone. This is the remastered side. That and the Dominique, Chris, Kristen Dominique Lemonade Palette. Oh. That is so beautiful. And then Moon Dust in the original. We're going to put on this side. There's so many good palettes. So Manny MUA, Kristen Dominique's, and Jeffree Star's got one coming out. I'm just like, oh my gosh, you guys are just. There's another one coming out, and I can't remember the name of the company, but 
You guys let me know in the comments below which one you think I should pick up. Box of Crayons palette is on the way for upcoming giveaway after the Free Stars Blood Sugar. If I can get my hands on another one of those, I will. I'm going back in the... I think I brushed off too much here. Ooh, I almost touched up the other side. Ooh! Okay. Gotta remember, clean my brush and then go in. And I, by the way, I'm using Kat Von D's uh, Aberdeen. Is it called Aberdeen? The, like, um, burgundy in my brows. I did not just clean my brush, but that's why I'm just blending that one in a little bit. This one's definitely more gold. Okay. So now let me just wipe off. I don't think under my eyes is that bad. We're going to do under my eyes. I will clean up my brows with my brow gel after. Um, let's go under my eyes with my favorite Morphe. Uh, this is the E36 brush. And we're going to go in with... Um, okay, I want to do the black, black truffle. This is the new palette. see we're gonna pop this on right here I'm gonna get my my wet my wet my spray my spritz again I don't go in the palette after I wet my brush I well I try not to because just some shadows don't play well Okay, the black in here, let me just tip here. You probably want to wet your brush. I don't know what formula they used, but I'm going into the original and I'm going to try not to wet my brush. The black in here is just something else. I, it skips, and I know I'm under my eye, but let me just say it skips. And it does not go on very well. You need to wet your brush, so that is just my phone's ringing. You do know you can wait. Leave a message. Okay, so I'm doing the black from the original right here. I, I think I need another layer. There we go. Let's see if. You know, I, I'm going to be filming, like, hopefully, uh, you know, one or two a day. So, that way I can upload while my dad's here. And we're going to take a Universal. I am so excited. I'm such a kid when I get there. You guys, I'm in the uh, new one. Remastered. Uh, yeah, I buy a wand. That's right. <laughs> I'm running around Harry Potter world with my wand. I'm going to do that. I'm going to have some fun with my dad, my sister. Okay, enough of the black. Now we're going to go in with... Let me see here. I kind of want to use doll face, which I think is... Um, and the other one, it, it, they changed it to flamingo, so let's just do that. Doll face is in the new one. I clean my brush. Let's see how this goes on. And I'm blending it into the black in the middle. Kind of disappeared. Okay, let's try to spray the brush. Let's see. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera. I get distracted at my, doing my eye, and I'm just like, duh, you are filming. So, okay, we're just gonna uh, go with that. Now on this one, I'm going to use the one I think they've replaced it with, which is Flamingo. 
and we're going to try it without wetting the brush. This one is definitely laying down a little bit easier, I think. It is a lighter pink. Now I'll try and spray it. Maybe it'll darken a little. I doubt it. I don't think it's going to happen. That's right. Okay, let's go because I'm just extreme. I'm going to um, touch up the inner corner of my eye. I used pink diamond on this side. Ooh, that was pretty. That is a really pretty color. Then on this side I used angelic on the original. Okay. Okay you guys, I'm going to go off camera because I've been on here probably driving up a wall for a while. I just really want an in-depth review on these because there are a lot of different things flying around about this palette and I, I I want you guys to see the swatches I gotta blend this out a little bit it's driving me nuts something wrong with me I forgot um, and I want you guys to see a side by side you know look because if you have the original and you're not sure or you just didn't get the original and you're not sure I want you, I want you to be sure so here are again are the swatches um, your left is original and the right is new on all of them. I am very colorful. Yes, very, very colorful. So anyways, I will go off camera and I will finish my makeup. I will be back with a full review. Hello everybody and welcome back. So I have finished my look and I actually line my eyes with a red glitter. So I hope you can tell the left eye is the new palette and the right eye is the original so let me know if you can tell a difference um, honestly when I look I think they look the flipping same I mean the inner corner color is a tad different but okay as it's my let me know in the comments below your opinion they remastered the original I mean come on okay my thoughts this new palette okay and these shades right here they sink they are like a clay like texture so when you stick your finger in it just kind of sinks into the texture it looks like a hole like it has been hollow or something um, again it is a clay like texture as you can see it moves around in the pan like clay um, these do not play well with brushes just remember this is my opinion this is what I've experienced and this is how I feel about the palette, both of them. Uh, supposedly this one was remastered so that you could use your brushes. And these uh, upper ones, unlike these, you had to use your finger with the foils. Um, some of them, like today, the Dubai one did do okay. I dug my brush and you can see. Uh, but these, when you get them, they are kind of puffed up. And then you put a brush or finger and they literally flatten out into the pan. It's like if you have Play-Doh and you smush it and it becomes flat. Well, that is what happens with these shadows. There have been a lot of reviews. I have not watched videos, but I know there have been a lot of reviews in Sephora that um, give it the one star because of that. Okay, and then we're going to move away from those because... So I don't think they resolve the problem of using your finger like in these. Um, I used my brush in Dubai as well on this one. And these you do have to use your finger, but they do apply very well. 
Okay, I used this the other day and this black is so chalky and it skips and just kind of like fades and disappears. But in the old one, it is the same. It skips and disappears. So with the black, either with the new or old, you've got to wet your brush. Um, my opinion on the black uh, is absolutely horrible. I think it sucks. I really honestly do. I just, in my opinion, uh, I, I can't stand the black. I tried the other day I was using it and I tried the new palette in the corner to like smoke it out and it was just like, just disappear, you know? It was so chalky and thin it just it would just disappear you can't get a smoky eye out of it now maybe if you wet it you, you probably could today I wet it and I, I it applied a lot better but for me if I want a good black I would never reach for this I just absolutely hate the black in both of them um, I just I have palettes that are way way better than that Overall, the mattes, like the pink doll face, they skip as well. And they become very fine, and you kind of got to wet your brush. Okay. Let me just say, save your freaking money. Okay. I honestly, I am so unimpressed and disappointed in this freaking palette. The only thing I truly love is the package. I wish I could tear this off and put it on here. But I honestly, I don't care. In fact, I could probably keep the insert. Here we go. And bam. I just remastered my original palette. I will keep the insert. And there you go. I think that she should have never called it a remastered palette. I think she should have made a whole new palette and placed maybe some of the new colors like Pink Diamond is gorgeous right here. I don't like the texture at all. It plays too much. It, it just, it, they sink too far deep so you're not going to get a lot and they're just like dough and I don't like them. I, I think she, um, horribly horribly screwed up um uh, mine will probably go back uh, i was not going to buy it to begin with because i have the original but i thought well there's some new colors and it's supposed to be remastered and better but um uh, i think i'm just uh, i'm disappointed i can get the same look with this one <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping the insert in there. Sorry. Uh, I just, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Keep your money. Buy the dupe on Hush. No, I have not tried that dupe yet. Uh, I, maybe I'll buy a dupe. Uh, let me know if you'd like that. Maybe I'll buy the dupe for the Huda um, Rose Gold. Let me know if they have that on Hush. I have never bought from there. The palette I used the other day was from a friend. If they have the Huda Gold Remastered, let me know if you would like to see the dupe on that. Um, because the remastered version sucks. I'm sorry, but I am just being honest with you. For $65 flipping dollars, this thing should be amazing, okay? I have palettes that smoke this out. Just oh, save your money. Just save your money. Keep your money. I'm sorry. Uh, I usually love Huda's eyeshadows, but this is just going back. It's just, it's no good. I'll keep my original, put that away. And, uh, that is my review. Uh, the mats are just horrifyingly horrible. And the, um, the, what do you call them? Foiled? 18 revamped eyeshadows. The, the foiled ones. It's just like playing with Play-Doh and it just, it doesn't go anywhere. I just don't like it. It's bad. And they sink so, sorry, 
bad review, bad palette, completely honest. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you like to and hit that notification bell because it helps me out a lot. It lets you know when I put up a video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Follow me over on Instagram, Susan Young1974. And um, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.